here. It's finally here. 14 years of waiting. It's finally here. Incredibles 2 is the long awaited sequel to the Pixar film, The Incredibles. So basically, Incredibles 2 takes place immediately after the events of the first movie. Superheroes are still illegal and there's this millionaire who wants to bring superheroes back from being illegal. He, so basically he, he wants to make them legal again and he chooses Elastigirl as this superhero advocate basically and that's when Mr. Incredible has to be the stay-at-home dad and soon enough chaos ensures. Now I absolutely love the first Incredibles movie. I think it is a phenomenal movie. It is one of my favorite movies of all time and it is right up there with the Toy Story trilogy, Finding Nemo, Monsters Inc., and Coco adds one of my top five favorite Pixar movies of all time. And when I heard Pixar was making an Incredibles 2, man, I was pumped. Now, when it comes to Pixar sequels, you either expect something phenomenal, like the Toy Story sequels, or something bad, like Cars 2. I mean, that's not to say Pixar sequels are bad. There's been great ones for sure, like Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3. Those are fantastic movies. But Monsters University was good, not great. Same with Finding Dory, good movie, but not nearly as good as Finding Nemo. And Cars 3 was a huge improvement over Cars 2, although it was fine. Uh, Cars 2, we're not gonna talk about it. So, how is Incredibles 2? I'm sure a lot of you are dying to know, and yes, I'll get to that soon. So, is it worth the 14 years long of waiting, or is it not quite? Well, do you guys remember in my Deadpool 2 review when I said that movie was my favorite movie of the summer so far? Well, guys, I changed my mind. Incredibles 2 is my new favorite movie of the summer so far. I had a total blast with this movie. This movie was freaking great. Incredibles 2 was awesome. Heck, I'll even go too far as saying I liked it just as much as the first one. First of all, just like with every other Pixar movie, the animation is beautiful. The animation did a fantastic job having the action be really enjoyable and really intense. I didn't see it in 3D because I'm kind of avoiding 3D for now on, but I imagined like seeing it in 3D, like the action like popping out of the screen, like whoa, because it was really intense and it was really cool. And the one part in this movie that I was very concerned about was the part where Mr. Incredible has to be the stay-at-home dad. He has to take care of Dash, Violet, and Jack-Jack while Elastigirl is out there solving crime without him. This could have been stupid and hokey and cheesy, but it turned out to be really funny. Each character is dealing with their own problem. You got Dash, his problem. He's trying to deal with homework. Violet's problem. She's dealing with teenage stuff, just stuff that teenagers go through. And Jack Jack's trying to deal with his newly discovered superpowers. But what really makes this movie work, it has heart. You care about the Incredibles. And yes, they are a superhero family, but when you really think about it, they're just a family. So overall guys, Incredibles 2 was absolutely worth the 14 year wait. It is definitely Pixar's best sequel since Toy Story 3, and it is my favorite movie of the summer so far. I give Incredibles 2 an A+. Alright guys, that's it for my review of Incredibles 2. And, I have a question for you guys. Have you seen Incredibles 2? What do you think of it? Do you, do you prefer the first one, or do you prefer the second one? Whatever you prefer, just, just comment below. And, if you want to see more of my videos, just be sure to subscribe.